I am getting micro-needling. I'm using our numbing cream. This is benzocaine, lidocaine, and tetracaine. So here I am right after micro needling. As you can see, I'm not insanely red. Some people get a little more red. Some people get less red. When it's your first time, we just honestly don't know until we do it. It just depends how your skin tolerates treatments and also how aggressive the provider goes. As long as you're getting pinpoint bleeding, that is what we're looking for because that means we've hit the dermis, which is going to boost your collagen for strengthen your elastin, which is what keeps your skin bouncing back. That's what keeps your skin tight and not sagging and not getting fine lines and wrinkles. The things you will notice first after you get a microneedling is, of course, you do have redness. Usually within two or three days, you notice your pores are much tighter. You notice your skin is getting brighter, less texture, more even tone. In the coming weeks, you should notice your fine lines and wrinkles starting to soften. So that does take time due to this being a more natural process, a more natural treatment to boost your collagen found in your skin, in your dermis. It's not like Botox, like a quick fix. After a while, if you were not doing great home care, if you're not getting somewhat routine treatments in office, then eventually your college is going to go back to the way it was, not producing that much. So you do have to keep doing things to encourage that collagen production. Otherwise, you're just going to go back to where you were or um, your skin's going to slowly start aging and having those problems again. So you may have noticed my awesome nails. My three-year-old daughter did these, by the way, in case you saw my hands and you're like, whoa. If you buy the package of three microneedling treatments, you will get this Aven Post Procedure Recovery Kit included in that package. You'll get a sheet mask, the antioxidant protection, this is very soothing and it's good for getting rid of irritation, helps get rid of redness. So this is great to either use immediately after your procedure, such as microneedling, laser peels, certain chemical peels, or you can wait and do it that night. Here is a clip of me using this mask at home after my own microneedling. It's not uncommon to get more red as the day goes. It's not a bad idea to do things before it happens. I love when patients add on the hydrogelly mask after a more aggressive treatment. Honestly, I see such a reduction in inflammation when patients do this. It soothes the skin so much you can feel the heat being absorbed into the mask. When I take it off, it just brings so much heat out of that patient's skin. Trust me, it is worth adding this on. We'll need to let us know prior to scheduling your treatment just so we can allow for that extra time. But this one works well. You will also receive the thermal spring water. This helps with soothing, but it's also great for promoting healing of the skin as well. You get a small size cleansing lotion. 
You need very little of this, to be honest, and you can wipe this right off. You don't even have to rinse it. They came up with this because there are harsher treatments, especially with laser. You can be very aggressive that you don't want to rinse your face because it hurts so much afterwards. So that is why they came up with this product. Microneedling, you should not have that much irritation, but honestly, it depends on your pain tolerance. You'll also get the restorative cream, and this is a pretty good size, to be honest, um, in this kit. This is amazing. I actually did a full review on my YouTube channel where I used this on my daughter's hand, foot, and mouth. So this stuff is amazing for healing. If you buy this, the retail is only $39. I mean, that is amazing, and it is so effective that it was just a no-brainer to change these out to our microneedling kits, and our patients have been so much happier. Another option is the Cell Recovery Serum. This has growth factors in it. It's really good to boost that collagen and elastin in your skin and just really more dramatic than this kit. This kit is literally more for soothing and healing. This is also for soothing and healing, but it's also a step up from that and puts a little more anti-aging uh, properties to that because it does have those growth factors in there. It retails for $125. So this $39, $125. But again, this has the growth factors in it. So you are um, getting a little more in this one and it is one product. So some people are like, I know I'm not gonna do all these steps. So then this is your go-to if you're not going to do all those steps. Um, you'll still want a good uh, gentle cleanser though. You could be a little pink to red for two or three days depending on how aggressive your rider goes. I have been known to go very aggressive on scars or really deep wrinkles. Those areas for most people are going to be red for at least three to four days if I go super aggressive in those areas. Generally for me, my redness subsides within, I mean, usually by tomorrow, it's not even red anymore or it might be slightly pink. What usually happens day three or four for me personally and a lot of my patients is you will get a little bit of peeling flakiness. So again, keeping that hydrated, keeping moisturizers on your skin will be very helpful. Um, you don't want to pick that skin off. You don't want to help it. You want to just let it do its thing and come off naturally without scrubbing it or anything like that. If you keep it hydrated, it will just wipe right off eventually. So please don't pick. Honestly, by the end of a week, seven days, typically your skin has no redness and it's just a lot smoother, brighter. And if you haven't told your friends what you did, they will ask you, what did you do? Your skin looks really bright and healthy. What are you doing? What kind of cream are you using at home? Because they do notice a difference. Even your husband will notice. They'll say, hey, your skin looks really nice. What did you do? <laughs> kind of like with Dermaplane, it's that instant gratification, like makes your skin look nice and bright. I would at least give it a couple weeks if it's your very first treatment just to make sure you don't have any reactions to the numbing cream, to the moisturizers we put on you, anything like that. So I'd give it at least a couple weeks before a big event, before family pictures, just to be extremely safe. Injections like Botox fillers, they say to wait two weeks before or after microneedling. We don't move, move those injections around. To the provider of the injections can see what you truly need because some people it's not uncommon to get a little bit of um, swelling after microneedling. It's me uh, three and a half hours later so it's not uncommon to get a little more red as the day goes. So you can definitely see the lines on my neck now whereas before in the video you didn't see that so do not panic and think oh my gosh um completely normal you start swelling to the point where your eyes are closing not normal contact your provider but otherwise a little bit of swelling a little bit of um redness like this completely normal so i always say if 
especially if I'm your provider doing your treatment, I would much rather you send me a picture, whether it's email or social media, and just double check with me, hey, this is normal, right? You are not bothering me, that is what I'm here for. If nothing else, to ease your mind, but so that I can have more time to help with any kind of unexpected reaction. Maybe it's, hey, stop by the office, I'll give you a special cream. Hey, one of my docs is gonna call you in some prednisone. Whatever the case is, I would much rather you check with me so you're not um, wondering. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. And let us know in the comments down below, have you had microneedling done yourself? What were your thoughts? What was your experience? We want to know.